Hi everyone! This week's summer steam is loose parts. So it's all about what you can gather with no idea about what you're going to make and then making it into something. That could be items from nature, it could be things you find around your house, it could be art supplies you get in your kit from the library. But this morning we are going to go on a walk around my yard, gather objects, and then make some art in the style of Andy Goldsworthy. He's a British artist living in Scotland and he goes into nature, looks around, looks at the lighting, the environment, and he puts things together in an intentional way and photographs it and then it disappears back into nature. So let's see what we can do today. So first, here's Andy Goldsworthy building, and here's some of his art. And you can see that he takes things from nature and he manipulates them by tearing and placing them to make different objects. And frequently they're in circles or spirals. So after getting inspired, I'm gonna walk around my yard and see what I have. I always have lots of flowers growing. I pick petals and leaves, and I even found some pebbles. Now I'm gonna look closely at what I found and I can see the variation in the color. These leaves are all from the same bush, but some of them have more yellow and sometimes the yellow is just around the edge. I'm gonna sort them by color and then I'm gonna lay them out looking at the veins on the leaves. Here is some hosta leaf that I also found. It's a green leaf that has white edging. I tore it in half gently lengthwise and then I was able to line up the white parts and lay them out like a circle, first on the grass and then around some other leaves. I also have a lot of daylilies in my yard, so I picked the flowers, tore off the petals, gently ripped them in half, and then lined up the yellow line in the center. And it looked like a dragon to me, and so I added some other petals. Then I laid the petals out with the yellow on the inside like a flower, the orange on the inside. I tried it on the cement, then on the grass. You can see how it looks different ways. And now in a line. When you look closely, you can see the fine line inside the petals and you can line that up too. Here are some weeds that I found in my yard. They're kind of like long sticks and it made me think that I should make something square. But then I thought about it again and I relayed them out so that they're in a circle. Here are the pebbles that I found and I'm making them into a spiral. And now I found some kindling that we have for lighting a fire and I decided to take the sticks and line them up by size. Smallest to biggest and that looks like a form of art too. But then I decided to make another circle. I took five sticks on the bottom level starting with the largest and I kept moving around in a circle stacking them up getting smaller and smaller with smaller sticks and a smaller circle until it was like a pyramid. And then I took it apart and rebuilt it as a larger circle that's not as tall. Here are my pebbles again, this time they're inside, but instead of putting them randomly in a spiral, I'm gonna sort them. I'm gonna look at the fine variation in color and make five different piles based on those colors. And then lay them out in rings with a flower shape in the middle. Now I hope you go outside and get creative too. Thanks for watching.